Welcome to Celebrity of Ives. Ha. Camila Cabello admits she's all of us and stole from Kensington Palace. We will break it all down for you. But before we continue, please, if you are new to this channel, please take a minute of your precious time to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Let's dive into the video. There's a lot to love about Camila Cabello, her music, her super cute relationship with Shawn Mendes, her charity work, and her honesty. During an interview with BBC Radio 1 recently, Camila and host Greg James got real about a shared bit of mischief they were involved in last month. While visiting Kensington Palace, home of Prince William and Princess Kate, for the Radio 1 Teen Heroes event, Greg dared Camila to steal a pencil. And he didn't just dare her, he triple doggy dared her. Watch Camila hilariously recall the story below never one to turn down a dare, especially a triple doggy dare. Camila swiped the pencil, tried to stuff it in her mom's purse, and ultimately got called out by Greg. I'm sorry William, and I'm sorry Kate, Camila joked. I honestly couldn't sleep last night. I had to get it off my chest. Luckily, it seems like the royals have quite the sense of humor. Their reply to Radio 1's tweet about the interview with the silly eye images below. Classic. All in all, we bet Prince William and Princess Kate were just happy to host Camila for such an important event, as the Radio 1 Teen Heroes Initiative honors teens who selflessly dedicate their time to important causes. Check out their smiles below from that day, and try not to giggle wondering if this shot was taken before or after Camila swiped the pencil. While fans wait with bated breath for Camila's new album, they can also probably expect more romantic snapshots with Sean. The two stars first stirred up rumors of a romance thanks to their ultra-steamy Senorita music video, but those whispers became reality when they were photographed locking lips. The pair proved there's definitely more than friendship between them when they were spotted kissing while taking a dip in a pool in Miami Beach on July 29. Camila Cabello has a look of absolute terror on her face. I'm shocked, she says, slumping into her living room couch's womb-like pillows and putting a hand to her forehead. Wearing a t-shirt emblazoned with the word change in Chanel-like type, she's one ab crunch away from fetal position. It's tragic. I can't believe he'd say something so disgusting. It's a perfect summer day in the Hollywood Hills, and while the 22-year-old Cabello is typically as upbeat and bubbly as her Latin-flavored pop hits, this afternoon, news headlines are weighing on her. Specifically, President Trump's racist taunting of four congresswomen, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib and Diana Presley, telling them to go back to where you came from. It's worth noting that three of the representatives are American-born and one a naturalized citizen, and none had to immigrate to the U.S. illegally, like Cabello's family did upon escaping Cuba in 2003. That could have been me, she says matter-of-factly. That's also what I was thinking as I was looking at the images of kids being held against their will. I was, like, there is literally no difference between these people and my mom. It's easy to see why Cabello's passion for the issue hits close to home. She and her mom, Sinu, entered the country in 2003, arriving in Florida on the heels of another immigration controversy, the debated return of seven-year-old Cuban-born Elian Gonzalez to his birth country. While waiting for Cabello's father, Alejandro, to join them in Miami, they scraped by on her mother's modest income. She's an architect by trade, but found herself working in retail. Cabello didn't speak any English when she enrolled in elementary school. Still, she wowed her teacher with her unflappable confidence. As Senior calls, the teacher came to me and said, she's not gonna have any problem. Basically my strategy in life, cracks Camila. Fake it till you make it dot please tell us in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to see our latest updates. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Celebrity of Ives. Ha. Camila Cabello admits she's all of us and stole from Kensington Palace. We will break it all down for you. But before we continue please, if you are new to this channel please take a minute of your precious time to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Let's dive into the video. There's a lot to love about Camila Cabello. Her music, her super cute...